Hello, AD. Welcome to my home. Come on in. So welcome to my home. I've been designing this house for a really, really long time. I actually worked with my sister Venus. She has an interior design company called V-Star Interiors. And it's really cool because she loves doing it. And she has some amazing people that work with her that was able to kind of get inside my brain and pick my brain and show you my vision. <laughs> Most homes actually have a formal living room and I didn't want to lose that aspect, uh, but I also didn't want a formal living room and I was just trying to decide what do I do. Now I love art and I love, you know, all kinds of like artists and I find it really cool. So I was like, what if I had a formal living room, but instead of it being a living room, it's called an art gallery. So this is our gallery. It actually starts from the front door. This piece is one of my favorite pieces. It's from Radcliffe Bailey. We, I have a few pieces pieces of his. I think it's called the Astro because this is actually a rock from the moon. So that's really cool. Sometimes when I feel like I want to go to space, I just touch that little guy. So that's pretty amazing. It's a really fantastic wide piece for the entrance of the foyer. And then we have our gallery. So we kind of walk in a little bit of cause chair, some more fun stuff. This is a Leonardo Drew, another Radcliffe Bailey. These doors are actually from Nepal which is really cool. My favorite piece, not really my favorite piece, but this is actually my art. I do art um, and I paint and I'm really kind of artsy. So this is a really cool piece with, it's a needle actually in it. So it's kind of like a 3D piece, which is really cool. <laughs> Of course, I felt like a living room needs a library, a little bit of a library here, and also needs a, a piano. I wanted a piano that my daughter would be able to play, but I didn't want it to be so heavy. And I was like, is there like a clear see-through piano that we can find? And so V-Star was really helpful with getting everything together. And so really that's our gallery. The gallery kind of extends a little bit on the sides. Um, I have a Titus Kafour piece, which I'm super excited about that's coming soon. Um, so the gallery is actually not close to being done, but it's a it's work in progress. And I think galleries are always work in progress because it's always art pieces that's coming and that's being exchanged and that's being figured out. So it's really fun. Come on, I'm gonna show you um, my trophy room. Oh, this is some of my favorite pieces. These two girls, just to go back to the gallery, these two girls actually represent myself and my sister. This one's me because I'm super complicated, but maybe it's Venus because she's way more complicated than me. I'm pretty simple, so we'll say this one's Venus. And these are actually done by Brendan Marshall, who's a wonderful, wonderful um, artist. I have some art upstairs by him as well. Really kind of modern, cool vibes, which I really love. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the trophy room. But here are some of my trophies. Mm -hmm. um, and then some really cool pieces that really mean a lot to me. Wheaties box. I don't keep a lot of my Grand Slam trophies here. I do see an Australian Open trophy. Oh, wait, 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 there's a US Open trophy. Okay, here's one. Oh, that's 2002. Okay, that was a while ago. This looks like one. <laughs> I am so bad with trophies. Is this one? Let's see. This is, yep, this is uh, Rolling Garros, the French Open. Clearly I don't have a lot of those, so I can't tell you that one. I only have two or three, I don't even remember. Two, three, three, three. Let's see, oh, this is the Australian Open. Now all you all need me to show you is a Wimbledon, but I don't think I have Wimbledon here. Do I have, oh, I do. This is our Wimbledon trophy. Lots of cool details and names. My sister's name is, is in here like six or seven times, which is crazy. Oh, here's another Wimbledon trophy. I'm so bad with this. So this is what it was like when you first won Wimbledon, you got a small trophy. Um, and then it been like four or five years since I won Wimbledon and I understand they moved it to the bigger one. So this is like early 2000s and this is like, I don't know, 2000. 10, 12, I don't know when I won. Here's another Australian Open. I won that one a few times. Yeah, I see a second place trophy, but I'm gonna put that one in the trash. Shouldn't be in here. We don't keep second place. 
So if anyone ever told you I'm vain, then they're lying and I showed them my office. I have no vanity about me. My office is always extremely messy because I have so much stuff and I realized that I probably should have made a bigger office, but I was like, I don't work that much at home. But it's really a fantastic space. I kind of like it snug because I can get so much work done. I always keep it super warm in here, which I love. This is my office. This is where a lot of things happen, a lot of meetings happen and crazy stuff. But the crazy stuff happens in my karaoke room. So I'm gonna show you that right now. I wanted a lot of detail on the wall. I wanted like really cool surprise elements in the house. Um, so each room has really different surprise elements. You kind of have to be here to look at it and see it closely. But this is actually a wallpaper that's like a 3D wallpaper, so there's texture to it. So when you fill it, you can feel all this cool texture that comes with it. Our media room and our bar and our club room is all in one. I didn't want like a movie theater room because I'm like, I just don't want to sit and watch movies, but I wanted like something that was super functional. So when I was talking to V Star, I was like, listen team, I want something really functional that can work as like a karaoke place. So they gave me a little bit of a stage. Me and Olympia sing on it often. And these chairs are actually super functional. I got them in Europe. They twist 360 and they actually lay back completely, which is really important to me. Popcorn machine is what we use most in this house. I actually would love some popcorn now, but I'm gonna try to refrain. And my husband actually got all the liquor because I told him that I want some really cool liquor bottles and he got all these really amazing liquor bottles on display that we really never drink, but maybe one day we'll crack one open. We'll see. And my kitchen's super busy right now. You guys came when my daughter's like playing and so, well you can see pictures of my kitchen in the Architectural Digest magazine. So it's really fun. I love this space. I love living here. Grab the magazine to see all the rest of it. All right, bye. Thank you for visiting. I hope you enjoyed the home. See you later. Hi guys. Hello. Hi, Hi D. I'm Scott Disick. I'm Margo. I'm Maria Sharapova. This is Alfie Dumbledore Delamy. Welcome to our home. Come on in. So welcome to my house tour. Welcome to my fazenda. Should we let him in? Yes or no? No? Well, what are we gonna do for the rest of the afternoon? Makes me feel really zen and relaxed. Everything is just, you know, sturdy and funky and cool. Like me. Basically just water, Gatorade, and ginger ale. And matzo ball soup because everybody's sick in the house. This room is so bright that I have to put a protective force field around me because it burns my skin. I love anything that sparkles, that shines, that glitters, that steals the show. Hope you had a beautiful time. Ciao. Come on. Let's go.